we have two different types of deployment for client script one is form level deployment another one is called as record level deployment so let's discuss about form level deployment in client script and how to deploy a client script as a form level deployment i have created a basic client script which has a page init function here and i have just used a dialog.alert api which is going to show me a message as form level deployment whenever the page is getting loaded and also i have loaded my dialog module in order to use this dialog.alert api i have successfully uploaded this file in my netshed file cabinet account directly from visual studio code so i'm going to deploy this client script in a customer record so i'm going to navigate to list relationships customers and click on new so what do you mean by this form level deployment right so right now in this customer record i can see a custom form field which has multiple options standard customer form standard lead form switch scripts customer form we're going to deploy the script on this particular form which is called as switch scripts customer form so that our script will work always only for this particular form even if the customer is choosing a standard customer form the script will not get triggered only for switch scripts customer form the script will get triggered so that is nothing but your form level deployment so in order to deploy my client script on this particular switch scripts customer form what i can do is either i can choose this form on this customer record and then i can click customize form from here itself or i can still navigate to customizations forms entity forms and from entity forms i'm going to search for my custom form which is called as switch scripts customer form so i'm going to open this switch script customer form by clicking on edit so right now i am in my switch scripts customer form i can notice there is a custom code sub tab here so i'm going to click on this i can see a option to choose my script files i have selected my file here which is client script form level deployment.js and the moment i select my file here i can clearly see it has recognized my page need function so we'll just going to click save on this this is how we deploy the form level deployment for this particular client script on a customer entity form so this is how we deploy a form level deployment on a customer form once i save that customer entity form i can clearly see on the script column it clearly shows me okay this customer form has a script deployed on it so now let's test our script which is a form level script deployment so in order to do that i'm going to navigate to list relationships customers and then i'm going to click on new by default i can see my custom form has been selected here which is switch scripts customer form so at this point my page init should get triggered and it should show me the pop up called as form level deployment so let's wait and see on this okay here we have the pop up now as per our code now let's test it with a different form instead of selecting this custom form i'm going to choose the standard customer form so let's see what happens so when i select the page is getting reloaded and reinitiated from beginning so at this point i don't want my pop up to be showing up my form level deployment is could not work on this particular form called a standard customer form so i can see it has loaded the page and it is pointing me to enter the company name which means my form level deployment has not triggered on this so i'm going to switch back to switch scripts customer form one more time and i can see the form level deployment being triggered so this is how form level deployment on client script works